Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to make a force shield effect in a very basic steps. Once you have dropped the video in After Effects, let's create a new composition for a shield effect. Go to Composition and select, New Composition. I will name that composition to, Shield. Now create new solid layer and name that solid to shield as well. Add fractal noise effect on shield layer. Here you can change contrast and brightness as much as you want. Now go to very beginning of shield layer and click on evolution stopwatch icon. Then go to very end of the video and change evolution amount something around 300. This will animate fractal noise. Add CC sphere effect now. Cool, if you ever wondered how to make a moon effect, so here is the moon tutorial as well. Increase radius a bit, you can always change scale amount a bit later. Now expand shading, increase ambient a bit, and decrease the diffuse to match the lightnings on sphere. Nice, I like it. Change render to outside. The sphere is ready. Now go back to your video composition, open project and drag that shield composition and drop to your timeline. To create a force shield look, I will use a Saber plugin. If you don't have that plugin, you can get it on an official website, Saber is free. To use Saber, first of all we need to create a mask on the sphere. To create an auto mask, go to layer and select, auto trace. Leave all settings on default and click on OK. Nice, as we have a mask on sphere, we can add Saber plugin now. Expand render settings. Change composite settings to add. Now expand customize core. Change core type to, layer masks. You can leave it as default or change presets, in my case I will change to, Patronus and change color to blue. You can also change settings under the saber on your wish, play around with glow and saber settings until it makes you happy. But, I will leave everything as default, I will increase only core softness. Once you are done with the saber too, let's pre-compose shield layer now. Make sure, move all attributes is selected and also adjust composition duration is toggled on, then click on OK. Now grab a rectangle tool and draw a mask like in the video. Hold shift while masking. On the mask toggle on inverted. Now move sphere above the car and scale it a bit, so it should cover the car. Press M on your keyboard to open masks and add a feather a bit, also add expansion. Once you are happy with masks, add curves now. Change channel to, blue and increase blue a bit. Then change channel to red and decrease red. Nice, I am happy with it. Now click on shield layer, then click on toggle switches and modes, change shield mode to screen to make it transparent. Nice, let's toggle off shield layer for a while. Now select your car clip, go to tracker and select, track camera. As the analyzing is done, select all points on the car, right click and select, create null and camera. Rename that null to, car tracking. Select your car clip again, then click on 3D camera tracker to see all points and let's create one more tracking camera. But this time, select points from the ground, right click and select, create null. Rename that null to, ground tracking. Toggle back on shield layer now, I will move it to the top and link it to car tracking. Also enable 3D on shield. Now change, X, Y and Z rotations, also scale it and position it to cover the whole car like in this video. Once you are happy with the shield, let's make a meteor strike effect now. Drop your meteor green screen to AE. I will leave download link in description. Link meteor layer to ground tracking and enable 3D on meteor. Change X, Y and Z rotations, scale it and position it where you want the meteor to hit on the ground. Once you are happy, add a kill eyed effect on meteor layer. Select eyedropper tool and click on green screen to remove it. Adjust again the position and scale if you want. Once you are done with meteor animation, toggle it off for a while and let's make shield opening effect. Add a linear wipe on a shield layer. Let's make a few adjustments under the linear wipe. Change wipe angle to zero. Now set transition completion to amount from where shield starts wiping. In my case it starts from 35. Make sure you are the moment where the meteor has already hit the ground, then click on transition completion stopwatch icon, so the shield opening will start right from that moment. Now go to very end of the clip and change transition completion to 100%. Make sure to add a feather under the linear wipe to smooth the edge. Nice, toggle back on meteor layer. In my case I don't like the shield position, I will adjust it quickly and we are done. Select shield layer and change X, Y and Z rotation if it needs to be fixed in your case as well. Add a glow, if you have a deep glow plugin, use it for better results, if not, After Effects glow works fine as well. Note, 
You can always go back to shield composition and make some changes here as well, or add more effects on your wish. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.